All right, Pete. We have uh, two filters. One filter's online, the other one's offline. As the filter starts to clog, you're going to see the vacuum and the vacuum gauge increase. But if not, you'll have warning at the helm letting you know that the filter's starting to clog. Once the filter gets up to about six inches, you're going to get a warning alarm at the helm letting you know that the, the filter's starting to clog. You can electrically switch it so it changes filters or you can manually switch it if this actuator wasn't installed. At this point, the dirty filter is offline and the clean filter is online. Now you can go ahead and take this filter. If you haven't done this before, this is a top loaded filter. And it requires no tools. You pull out the element, put the new element in. Now the fill up this filter is recommended before putting it back online so you don't have to bleed it. We can turn on the fuel pump and open up the bleed valve right here, either one. This is for filter one. This will fill the filter from within. Once the filter is full, you go ahead and put the lid back on. And we've just changed the filter. Literally, it takes that much time. So at this point, we can go ahead and switch the filter back online and keep running. The, the secondary filter, or the second filter, does not really get that much use. The pump is also there besides filling up the filter. It's, it's there also to give you backup fuel pressure for the engine and allows you to bleed and get the air or prime the system, get the air out of the system. For, for preventative maintenance, this allows you to use this valve here with the pump on and this allows you to do polishing. The industry term is, is cleaning and removing the water, removing the contaminants out of the water, out of the fuel and water. Uh, look up fuel polishing sometime. So he'll do this when he's sailing or when he's motoring. He'll do this when he is buying fuel, putting fuel in the tank, either a generator or any type of machine. It's a good time because you turn up the fuel and now you're getting the fuel, the particulate into the fuel. It's kind of like a Christmas warp. You know, you shake it up and you get the, you get the, the snow to come down. And, and that's a good time to get the particles out of it. Why it's why it's suspended. So you do that when you buy fuel. It's a good time to look at what you're what you're purchasing, especially you know if you're in a boat. So with this system, it allows you to also do preventative maintenance, cleaning your fuel. One of the other items we do with this is t system testing. And what that is is we're doing an integrity test. And the way we do that is we have the operator run the engine we shut the fuel inlet off. When he shuts the fuel inlet off with the engine running, the vacuum gauge is going to come up. You're going to get the warning at the unit and at the helm, letting you know that the, the filter's clogging. Then we have you shut the motor off. And this needle will stay, should stay where you shut it off at. If you have a leak, the needle will bleed back down. And that will let you know you have an air leak. Usually it's because you know, you've, you've left the valve open, or you made a rolled and o-ring. The way you check where the leak is at, it's really simple. You do the same test on the other filter. If the problem goes away, you know it's the first filter. If the problem's the same, it's, it's forward of that to the engine. So that gives you the ability to test your system. Uh, that's it. What about the uh, global uh, system monitoring? Okay, GSM system is, is added to this unit, what this does, it gives you the ability to have warning on your mobile device, your phone. And, and the way we kind of work that is in a generator housing or a generator house structure, generator structure, you're going to go ahead and have a, a warning letting the, uh, letting the generator operator know that the filter is just switched and you should send a mechanic out. Uh, and that's done on our app. That's done on the app. But the app also allows you to do other features, not just not just monitoring. It allows you to do control. And control is turning on a polisher. You can schedule this pump to come on and do weekly, monthly, daily maintenance of just cleaning the fuel. It also allows you to monitor bilge, bilges on a boat, uh, voltage for batteries, start batteries, you get a whole slew of op options you can work with.
So we, we, we talk about them, we, we, can, we can move that around. You can use those depending on what industry you're in. We're not gonna talk about build, build pumps, but you know, generators, but we can talk about, um, you know, temperature, humidity, battery chargers, uh, intruders, there's options. The units comes in a, a dual filter system, comes in a single filter system without a pump, a single filter system with a pump. And the flows are either 60 gallons per, per hour or 120 gallons per hour. 